Hello friends, so we will continue our discussion with the classification of uh, electronic communication systems. So far we have discussed uh, the classification of communication system on the basis of direction of communication and the nature of signal. So now we will discuss uh, the classification on the basis of the technique of transmission or the transmission method. Now we all know that uh, communication basically involves uh, sharing of information from, from one point to another, from source to the destination. Now this whole thing, this whole process can be achieved in two ways. Okay. And there is the classification on the basis of transmission method. So first one is called as baseband transmission and the second one is uh, transmission with the help of modulation. So what these two transmission methods essentially mean? In baseband transmission what happens is that the information, the data, the signal uh, it is transmitted directly from the transmitter to the receiver without making any change in the signal characteristics, without altering anything, without making any change, whether to the amplitude, frequency, phase, nothing is changed. It is sent as it is. That is called as baseband transmission. So, example of baseband transmission can be the voice signal uh, which is converted into electrical signal uh, with the help of uh, input transducer. It is sent as it is using telephone cables and the receiver side is again converted back the, into a uh, voice signal with the help of an output transducer. Okay. So, in baseband transmission, uh, the data it is sent directly from transmitter to the receiver. So the uh, example of which is uh, the telephone networks, the telephonic uh, connections where the voice signal at uh, the transmitter side, the human voice is converted into electrical signal with the, with the help of suitable input transducer, for example a microphone and uh, the inbuilt microphone and then it is converted into electrical signal and then it is transmitted to the receiver side where an output transducer for example a speaker uh, the, at the ear side it converts it into the original voice signal similarly the computer related data which is transmitted over coaxial cable it is transmitted in the same way without making any change in computer networks okay so this whole baseband transmission method however has certain limitations okay and uh, the main limitation is that the noise and distortion effects are very high okay and even if we ignore this it is practically impossible to transmit signals over long distances because cabling or wiring over long distances is not possible. Physical connection is very very difficult to achieve in uh, you know, the physical connection between two points. So because of this these limitations to overcome these limitations the second method that is modulation transmission that is transmission using modulation method is used. So what basically modulation means is changing the characteristics of a separate signal. A separate signal is taken, okay. A separate signal, a high energy signal, carrier signal is taken and the message signal or modulating signal is combined with it. How it is combined? the message signal or the original information containing signal 
it changes some characteristics of this high energy signal and those characteristics are amplitude frequency and phase so either the amplitude of the carrier signal is changed or the frequency is changed or the phase is changed okay so the message or modulating signal is basically a low frequency low energy signal and it ranges from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and the carrier signal is a high frequency signal that contributes to its high energy because energy is directly proportional to frequency and uh, its frequency range can be from kilohertz to megahertz range and its characteristics such as amplitude frequency and phase is altered so you can uh, understand this in uh, uh, in a way that suppose uh, you have to cover a distance of 100 kilometers okay you cannot walk this distance or run this distance because you will exhaust yourself you cannot it is not practically possible for a human being to cover 100 kilometers uh, through walking so what you can do is you can either take a ride on a bus train or any other vehicle so here you are the message signal okay uh, low energy message signal you are the low energy message signal the human being and the vehicle either the bus the train or if uh, we have to cover uh, several hundreds five hundred thousand kilometers if we take aero a plane ride then that plane is the carrier signal okay so the message signal rides over the carrier signal as the human being uh, takes a vehicle such as a bus or a motorcycle or a train or an aeroplane to cover long distances so that basically modulation is the whole process of modulation is so it involves the modulator involves a message signal low energy carrier signal high energy and we get the resultant modulated signal which can either be amplitude modulated frequency modulated or phase modulated and another important technique which is involved in the whole process is demodulation because the modulated signal we do not want the modulated signal we want the original signal so the original signal is extracted from the message uh, from the modulated signal the original signal has to be extracted from the modulated signal and that process is called as demodulation so the demodulator uh, has the modulated signal input at the receiver side and with the help of suitable circuitry uh, the original message signal is extracted so again uh, modulation is of uh, two types as we have already discussed in uh, the analog and digital that uh, video that analog modulation and digital modulation so analog modulation involves basic amplitude frequency phase modulation and also modulation can be done uh, in analog with the help of pulse signals which is pulse amplitude pulse width and pulse position modulation digital modulation involves digital signals uh, where the whole analog to digital conversion methods are used sampling quantization and encoding so it is generally the pulse code modulation and the delta modulation techniques are used so basically uh, modulation offers us the following advantages that is long distance transmission is possible noise and distortion effects are reduced and wireless communication is possible okay these are the main advantages of modulation okay so here we have uh, discussed about uh, basic concepts related to baseband transmission and transmission using the technique of modulation basic things now we'll be discussing all of these methods in detail and there there are a lot of things related to each of these methods related to analog modulation and digital modulation okay so we just covered it in a short way to give you a basic idea of what things we are go going to cover in the later videos so I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology. Have a great day. Thank you very much.